Hi, I'm Bethany with Shabby Fabrics, and today I'm so excited to introduce to you the mini charm bag. This is a free download from Moda, and they've been gracious enough to let us teach this to you today. The download will be available on our website, and we have also kit this for you in limited quantities uh, in the fabric collection Nantucket Summer. I'm going to show you here. Your kit will make two bags. Zippers will be included, your lining fabric, and your feasible fleece, and we've also included the charms that you see here. There's the star and the little house. And uh, these are something that are really special to this project. They were made just for this collection and Moda is already sold out. So if you love these charms, this kit that we have is the only way you're gonna be able to get them from our store. Let's get right into this project. So as you can see here, we have uh, followed the pattern and laid out an eight by five grid of squares. Your charm pack will have 42 squares. It requires 40, so there's two that you can toss if you don't like them, if they're not your favorite. I'm actually gonna um, incorporate them at another part that's a little um, me deviating from the pattern a little bit. But this patchwork is so simple, I'm not gonna walk you through how to sew the squares together because it's just straight seams. Um, you will take that and then layer it with your fusible fleece, get that fused on, layer it with your backing, and then quilt it. I do want to show you here that I've just some, done some very simple quilting, stitch in the ditch, down the middle, and then I actually um, played around with some decorative stitches on this and had a little fun pulling that out uh, on my machine and doing these decorative stitches. The next thing the pattern tells us to do is grab our ruler and measure a one and one quarter inch square in each corner and then cut that away. You're going to cut through the batting, backing, and the front of your project all together. So I have to grab my ruler for that. And we're measuring one and a quarter, one and a quarter. And I'll go ahead and mark that with my friction pen. And this will be repeated in all four corners and then cut out with scissors. Okay, so the next little bit we're gonna work from the front of our um, panel here and we're gonna start adding the zipper into this and forming this into the pouch. So your kit will include two zippers so you can make both bags. And I'm going to, for my first seam here, just center this along the short raw edge here. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, it, the, the zipper's oversized, we're gonna be cutting this down a little bit. I just wanna make sure that both ends overhang quite a bit. And then I like to pin these on and go from the top of the zipper under the actual zipper and then through the bottom and get that pinned in really stable. And then as I sew next to this zipper with my zipper foot on my machine, I'll remove the needles here, the pins, so that I don't sew over those and possibly damage my machine. Okay. So again, at our machine, we'll be sewing with a zipper foot right next to that zipper and I'll meet you at the machine. Okay, a little hard to see because that thread matches so well. We have sewn that and that with a zipper foot ends up being about a quarter inch. Um, we will go ahead and press that seam over. And then at our machine again, we're going to top stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric here. I've already gone ahead and switched my foot from the um, zipper foot to an open toe foot and moved my needle all the way over. And you'll see at the video um, the stitch that I do to get that sewn down. So that is looking just beautiful there. We are going to fold this in half and get the zipper lined up with the raw edge on the other end. I do want to make sure that I'm not coming to one side or the other or favoring that. I want it to be centered exactly on top of the, um, the cutouts in front of it. 
So sometimes I have to flip over to see what I'm doing on both sides. I think that looks really good. My raw edge is lined up. And I'll pin this the same way and then go in with that zipper foot again and stitch right next to the zipper. And again, that ends up being about a quarter inch seam from the very edge of the project. So that seam is done. Now we're going to want to open the zipper. We're going to iron this over and stitch that 1 8 seam from the edge after it's ironed, just like we did on the first side, but we got to open the zipper for that. Okay. So I will press that over at my iron. And again, we'll switch out to a um, open toe foot or whatever foot you prefer, and then get that top stitched 1 8 from the edge. All right, back from our machine. We've got both those seams top stitched down. For the remainder of the project, we are gonna wanna work with the zipper halfway closed. It might feel a little weird, but I promise you it's definitely gonna make your life worth it here in the end of the project. Next, we will fold this in half. And when I fold this in half, I wanna make sure that my cut edges are lined up here. And this is where I really like to use the wonder clips to just stabilize this, especially when I've got a lot of layers going on. And then we are gonna be measuring and marking in the bottom here. Um, I believe it's a one quarter, or sorry, one and a quarter and a one inch cutout. So from the edge, we're gonna do a one and a quarter and then from the bottom, it'll be one inch. And this will be cut out of both ends. This is eventually gonna be our box corner on the bottom of the pouch that you see here. I think Moda's done a really clever job of doing the math on this and getting us um, it's a really great little box pouch here. Let's see. I can do this. Here we go. One from the bottom, one and a quarter from the edge. And again, I will cut this out with scissors. Um, when, I, when I have a cut that's um, kind of not straight like this and I have to get my points to my, I don't like to use my rotary cutter to get right into that point here. I feel safer with the scissors here, so that's how I do. All right, so I have my corners cut out here. I'm gonna um, pin the sides again, just for some added stability, because our next seams will be these sides here. We're gonna sew from the cut edge to cut edge with a quarter inch on both sides. And then these will be raw edges inside your bag. Um, it's already lined with the, the, the lining on the quilting here that we did. Uh, so the edges will be raw inside. So if you wanted to serge those or maybe zigzag them, you could. I finished my edge here with a, like a really close top stitch when I was quilting this. So I think that's stable enough for me. So also these with that quarter inch, okay? Back from our machine, we've got our sides sewn. Now we're gonna box the corner. We wanna take these two like angle or cut sides here that are at right angles, and we're going to fold the fabric so that those come together into one straight line. Okay, you can do this on both sides or one at a time. And I actually wanna make sure I'm lining up my fabric in here. Um, there is a seam to match. So I'm gonna line that up and clip this. You'll do this on both of the bottom corners here. And these will also be sewn with a quarter inch. And if you wanted to, because that seam is exposed inside just a little bit, um, you can go in with like a zigzag stitch and close that up. Uh, for the sake of time here, I'm just gonna do this with a straight stitch.
right, our bag is starting to take shape. We have two more seams to do here. Uh, before we get into that, uh, we do have the little tabs to make on this, and I showed you that the uh, patchwork takes 40 squares, your charm pack has 42, and I used those other two. Well, the pattern originally calls for a two and a half by three inch square or a rectangle of fabric uh, pressed in half and then both sides folded in, top stitched to make these little tabs here. But I thought, why not use the other two squares of fabric that we have and use every little bit of this mini charm pack? So this is what I have here. As you can see, it's only a half inch shorter and I think it'll be just fine in this project. So I'm gonna be using these. I've already top stitched them uh, on both ends. And what I do is when I go to box the top corner here, I will press this in half and let's get that cleaned up. I'll press that in half and then we're gonna put this right in between our seam here. Okay? And then I'll use some clips or maybe pens to hold this in place as well. Okay? It'll be just like we did previously. I do have the zipper here. I'm gonna wait to cut this until I've sewn over it. Um, this is a nylon zipper, so it's not gonna damage your machine to sew over it at all. And then they cut really well without damaging your scissors as well. So I'm gonna get that little pull tab in here. And I will pin this in. Um, typically for the patchwork, we use the extra fine patchwork pins from Clover, but these are just the regular patchwork pins. And I like them because they're a bit thicker and don't bend as much when I'm going through thicker uh, materials here. So that on that side, again, we're gonna leave this long. This side, we're gonna keep the zipper open like we have here. We wanna do the same thing here, but it's a little, um, I, I found it a little weird with the zipper open. So just be uh, cautious of that or um, take notice of that. When we put this in, we wanna get these two ends as close together as possible and that cut in the corner here really helps because you're going to fold it right on that fold where the fabric was 90 degrees and fold those together. That should line your zippers up perfectly there. Okay. So I'll zip, the, uh, sorry, I will pin this in place as well. Keep that perfectly centered. And then again, another quarter inch and that will be the last little bit of our bag here. All right, that was our last bit of sewing. We're gonna take our scissors and cut the, um, what is this, the zipper here flush to the edge of the bag. And you may have seen at the sewing machine that when I was stitching this, I you know, back stitched at the front and came back and then left my needle down and spun this whole thing around and stitched this theme again. Um, I did wanna just reinforce that zipper, um, that zipper seam to make sure that this stays uh, really uh, intact and has you know, the integrity that we expect from our sewing. We will turn this inside out now. That's where leaving that zipper halfway sewn. And then I'm gonna grab my point to point turner and get these corners pushed out. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so again, your kit will have enough fabric to do both of your little pull tabs here in the white. But if you want to, you could use those extra little bits in your charm pack. We're gonna zip this closed, and my favorite part is the little charm. This will hang right off the zipper. And again, your kit will have both charms in it, enough to make two bags here. So thanks so much for joining me for this little tutorial here. This is, uh, again, a free download on our website. The kit will be available for a limited time, and I hope to see you on the next Shabby tutorial. Mm -hmm.